So hi, I'm David I. The R&D team has been working on the next versions of Delphi, C++ Builder, and Delphi Prism, all part of Rad Studio 2010. I'm here in R&D and I'm gonna barge in on Nick Hodges, who's a Delphi development manager, and see if he's got some time to show me some of the cool things that we've added to the IDE. Yeah. Hey Nick, you got a few minutes? David, hey, what's up? Come on in, how are you? Uh, that's great, Nick. Thanks for letting me barge in here. Sure, no problem. I'm just working on some email. Well, we just thought we'd come in and, and, and spend a few moments talking about what's new in the in the ID for 2010 oh, yeah. okay. Delphi C++ Builder Project. Well, we got a lot Studio. of good stuff in there for, for developers. And don't worry about the camera, Nick. You know, it's it's, no it's not going to appear on no some problem. weird website or okay. anything. Okay, no, I'm it's good. Just, I'm cool. We want everybody to have a little sneak peek at some of the things that are in the ID. Yeah, uh, sure. You, uh, I could show you a bunch of stuff. I could show you the uh, IDE Insight feature that puts uh, almost any IDE menu item component. Uh, Project option, anything like that, at your fingertips. Yeah, some debugging capability. We got uh, uh, individual thread debugging and control over individual threads. Uh, we got the ability to visualize data inside the debugger. So if you've got a special data type, you can visualize it in the debugger. And then if I want great looking code, we got, got a code, something for got me. Got a code formatter, yeah. And uh, a bunch of different stuff too. We can take a look at all that. So why don't we uh, take you a look? do that? Okay, yeah. here, here you go. Okay, David. So uh, the first thing we'll show uh, we'll show you is the IDE Insight. This is a new feature that gives you access to almost anything in the IDE it, right at your fingertips. You simply hit F6, and up pops the IDE Insight window, and uh, you can do anything here. So, for instance, if I want to start a new uh, VCL Forms application, I can do that. Scroll down to it, hit Enter, and boom, I got a new VCL Forms application. Um, if I want to add a component, you can use add, use it to add components. I can type this. I can type label. And it'll find T label for me. I want to add a button. Hit F6. Type button. It'll find T button. T button data. If anything you want, and uh, drop it on there. It'll drop those components right on the form. So F6 everywhere. If you're in the source code, if you're in the uh, code, you hit F6. You can uh, bring up, say, if I type in raise, I can bring up the code template for raising an exception. For instance, if you want to make a change to one of the project options, you can hit F6 and start typing compiler. And uh, it'll take you down to any of the uh, compiler options that you want to look at. It'll bring you right to that particular thing, additional options to pass to the compiler. For so time-saving tool to easily find files, components, features, Could be commands, anything. settings. Anything at all. With Hit simple F6, keystroke. and chances are it's right at, the, at your fingertips. Nick, you've been showing our Delphi customers what they're going to get when they move to Delphi 2010. Let me show our C++ Builder customers what they're going to get when they move to C++ Builder 2010. I'll start a new project, say new VCL form application. I'll hit F6 to bring up ID Insight, type button, and then I can add a button easily and quickly. I'll type F6 again and say I want an edit box, for example. Of course, we get all the list of components, commands, and other things. And then I'll switch to the new C++ Class Explorer, which gives C++ developers a quick way to navigate around their projects. We can see all the different objects and so on. We can click this little icon which will group all of these objects by the custom file group. Here's the RTL functions classes, here's the VCL, and here's the things in my project. Looking at my own project, I can see the different objects uh, inside of it and the types, and I can use this as a way to navigate. Go to the declaration, go to the definition. I can even add fields, methods, and properties. I can also take a look at the references, and I can look at a class diagram for Form 1 as well. Uh, we've got a number of features that uh, enhance your debugging experience. One of them is uh, the ability to debug into particular threads. I'm going to bring up the famous uh, thread sorting demo here that we've used in a number of different uh, demos over the years, because it's an outstanding threading demo. I'm going to bring up the code for the visual swap, and I'm going to put a breakpoint in there, and I'll run the application. And then I'll start sorting, and I'll move over to the thread status here. And uh, as I go through, you'll see that each individual thread is being created, the three different threads, which are, by the way, named. You can name your threads now, so they're easy to find inside of the debugger. And uh, you can see that as I press the uh, Run button here, you can see the breakpoint is stopping, and it's declaring which individual thread it's stopping inside of. At the same time, you can also right-click on these and freeze these threads. So I'm going to right-click and freeze the uh, two threads that are not current, and then as I run, you'll notice that it always only stops inside the bubble sort thread. So you can control which threads are actually being debugged and which threads 
are frozen and ignored by the debugger. Another feature that we got in the, uh, in the debugger is data visualizer. Sometimes the debugger won't always show you the right data. It'll show you some raw format and it won't be what you actually want to see. A uh, common thing that people complain about or have complained about is uh, date times. Well, now you get the ability to look right at a date time and see what the date time is right in the debugger. So uh, I'm going to put a breakpoint down here at the bottom of the method. I'm going to run it, uh, push the button, and it stops at the debugger. And now you'll notice that uh, if you go over to the local variables windows, the DT date time components all show data here. In addition, you'll notice that there's a string list here that's got a bunch of items in it. And this is a, uh, a data visualizer inside the debugger. If I show the strings, it'll actually go out and show with a dockable uh, uh, IDE window the actual values of the different strings in, in, uh, inside the individual indexes inside the C string list. And the cool thing is you can actually write your own data uh, visualizers. Plug them into the IDE and look at the, your own data That's inside cool. the visual. Yeah, cool. yeah. Um, and we ship the source code to the visualizers we provide so you can use those as an example of how to plug into the Open Tools API. Excellent. Well, let's take a look too at the uh, code formatter. This is one of those features that is going to be option specific. There's tons and tons of different types of options that people want and we've done our best uh, to provide a number of those. For instance, you can open up the tools options here and you can go to the formatter and you'll see that we've got C++ options and Delphi options. Delphi options in particular are sub subcategorized into indentation, spacing, line breaks, and capitalization. Yeah. You can do line breaks. Do you want a line break after an else? Do you want a line break after your individual uses items? Do you want a line break anywhere you want it? So we've got a number of options here. Click OK. You can right click on the source file and it'll sort your code. As you can see, it's I like my uses clauses to have an entry on each individual line in case I want to comment one out easily. Um, you'll notice that it did capitalize uh, my reserve words. It'll format your code any way you like. So it also allows organizations to have a consistent style enforcement. Of yes, the absolutely. You can, across the whole team. You can well. set up your uh, you can set up your options exactly the same. And uh, anytime you want to format the code, you just uh, right click and select Format Source on your file, and you're good to go. And that's just a quick look at a number of the different things you'll get when you get to Delphi 2010. Uh, uh, we've worked really hard to make the IDE much more productive. Provided a lot more things that you'll see later in some demos. I guess we'll do and. Uh, uh, that's it. I mean, and these IDE capabilities also available for C++ code. Oh yeah, everything. I, I'm well. the Delphi guy, so I, I show mostly Delphi code, but almost everything everything you've seen here works on the on the C++ side as well. Yeah, sure. Okay. And then, so thanks, Nick. That was great. You know, no sorry problem. to interrupt you this afternoon. Not I know you got to go to a meeting, so um, hopefully we can. Uh, everybody will see um, more of all of this in, in the coming weeks, and of course we have Code Rage in September, where everybody will see everything. And of course you'll see it if you get the product. Okay, thanks, Nick. Well, that was cool. And no matter which version of Delphi you're using, or if you're using some other IDE, you got to take a look at what's in the new version of Delphi 2010, C++ Builder 2010, all part of Rad Studio. You can go further and get there faster with Rad Studio 2010.